The first posture of the form is the Wuji posture. I'm going to start in the Wuji stance. The same requirements for the Wuji stance and the Wuji standing apply. And again, we can hold this, this posture for as long as we like before we start the movement. The first movement of the Tai Chi form is called beginning, beginning of the form, beginning Tai Chi. And first we're going to step out into the natural stance. By doing this, we're going to shift our weight onto our right leg. This is going to make our left leg empty. The left leg goes over just naturally where it can fall because we're upright. And you put the foot down first with the ball of the foot and then the heel. And then we transfer the weight over. And the weight comes over to the left leg. The right leg can close so that we're in our natural stance. Again, we want to check and make sure the feet are underneath the shoulders. The knees are slightly relaxed. Weight is 50-50. Weight sinks down. Pelvis is relaxed. Head up. Arms hanging down to the side. Now a common mistake when people step out sometimes is they'll lean to get that leg to come over. See, we don't want to lean because then we're throwing ourselves off balance and we have to catch ourselves. So here when you shift the weight to the right, you want to sink down into the right leg, 100% of the weight is there. Head is still pushing up. Move the foot out, put it down, shift over. The hips turn a little bit to the right as you shift over and then pivot that foot in, weight comes 50-50. And then from this posture, we're going to inhale and the hands are going to come up to the front, leading with the wrists. As they get to the shoulder level, the fingertips are going to extend and pull, like they're being pulled to the horizon. And then exhale, the elbows sink, the hands come back at shoulder level, and continue the exhale, they push down the sides as you bend your knees slightly, more than they were bent before. So let's look at that from the side. This posture, the hands are at the side, it's going to inhale, the hands come up, leading with the wrist, and then they pull across the room. When they pull, you want to feel a gentle pull out, and you want to feel that, that gentle pull throughout the whole arms, and even the back is going to be slightly rounded and pulled out. At the same time, this is rounding and pulling, the back is rounding and pulling out to the fingertips. This is stretching all the, all the tendons and the joints and the fascia in the upper arms and the upper body. We don't want to forget that we're still sinking our weight into the ground and pushing our head up. So we have the weight sinking down and the head pushing up, which stretches us up and down. And then now we're stretching this part of us that doesn't get stretched for the up and down or the stances. The stances work on the legs and the, the connective tissue in the legs. So now we're activating our upper bows, which is basically the arm bows and a little bit of the spine bow with this. And you don't want to hunch over. You just want to be upright and there. And then from here, the elbows sink and the hands pull back. This is the opposite of the stretch, that everything's coming back. And then from here, the elbows stay where they're at and the hands sink down and the body drops with the sinking. The body is gonna drop with the sinking so that when your hands stop pushing down, the body stops moving down. So it's a coordinated movement. This is up, forward, back and down and these are the four main powers in Tai Chi you have ward off which is an upward energy G which is a press this a forward energy Lu which is a backward sort of energy absorbing and then An which is downward From here, we're still at the beginning posture for Tai Chi. We're here. The weight is going to shift over to the right leg, and the two hands are going to separate and come up to shoulder level. Again, they're about 40, 45, about 60 degrees here, and they make a nice rounded bow shape. And as your hands come up, as you shift the weight to the right, 
the right foot can open slightly because the next movement we're going to step into a seven star stance. But let's look at this posture right here for a little bit. After we sunk down, the right foot opens a little bit. The right foot opens at the hip. You, the whole leg opens slightly. It pivots and the weight is on it, and more weight, and this shifts over. And again, this is like something's pulling our fingertips out. So this is going to stretch all the fascia and the arms in through the back again. And again, you want to feel that stretch going all the way to the spine. Not the spine up and down, but you want to feel the spine is a central pillar and the two arms are separating. And you want to be able to feel that gentle pull off the center pillar, you know, because our arms are attached basically with our shoulder muscles, because this is a ball and socket joint almost. And there's no direct connection there. It holds it, the shoulder muscles and also the scapula bone, the shoulder blade in the back. So when we pull this, we're connecting all the way through. And then from here, we're going to step into the seven star stance. Because remember, we were here, pivot out slightly, shift the weight over to the right. Now almost 100% of the weight is on the right. So we're going to step into a seven star stance. And from here, I'm going to turn the waist slightly and the hands come over. This hand is in front of the chest, facing the chest, and this hand is down here at the hip. So let's look at that again. So it comes up, and then we step and pivot. Okay, let's look at that from the side. Okay. The leg, shift over, seven star stance, over. Now the next part of this movement is we're going to put down, but we're going to put it in about 45 degrees. And it's almost like a modified forward stance as we shift the weight to the left leg. The right hand comes up to the inside of the wrist here. And again, we're slightly leaning. And this knee, you got to make sure it's in line with the front, the front toe. We don't want it to push out or in. But we want to have this whole leg turn from the hip inward. And as we shift forward, this hand comes forward to meet right here at the same time. So let's look at that from Come up, seven star, twist, pivot, shift forward, and catch here. That's all the movements for the opening posture or the beginning Tai Chi form. So let's take a look at that from the Wuji going all the way through. We're here. Shift the weight to the right. Left foot comes out. Pivot over. The hips turn a little bit. Pivot in. Inhale. Up. Stretch forward. Exhale. The hands come back. Drop the elbows. And push down as you drop your body. Pivot the right leg slightly. The hands come up. Step the left foot into a seven star stance. Pivot slightly to the right as the hands come over. Pivot the front foot and put it down. Shift forward. The right hand comes to the left inside of the wrist. Let's look at that from the side. This is the Wuji posture. I'm gonna open up into the natural stance. Inhale, upwards, stretch forwards, back, and down. Sink the weight with the knees, bend the knees. Follow the right leg, extend the hands out. Step, pivot, put the foot down, shift forward. Again, that's the beginning posture. Okay. Before you move on to the next posture, try this for a little while and see if you can get your body coordinated and to work together.